Hey there, thank you for joining me. Today I have a video for you where I'm going to show you how to do an herbal oil infusion that is extremely healing for the skin. Okay, so let's get right into it. This recipe, I actually, it's a modification from a recipe I got from Rosemary Gladstar's book, Herbal Recipes, Herbal Recipes for Vibrant Health. It's on page 75 and she calls it her St. John's wort salve. One part calendula, one part comfrey leaf, and one part St. John's wort leaf and flower. So I modified this to one cup of St. John's wort, three fourths cup of comfrey, three fourths cup of calendula, and then a half a cup of lavender. So this, this oil I actually call miracle oil because it works for absolutely everything. It's amazing. I first started making this about three years ago in 2016 and I would just carry it around in one of those little roller bottles that are used for essential oils. It works for cuts, wounds, rashes, burns, and insect bites. So insect bites like a mosquito bite, if you rub it on there, it'll take away the itch and the burn. I had a skeptic that's in my life use it when they had some type of rash and the cortisone cream they were using didn't work. So they used my miracle oil and it worked. So it's good stuff. You're going to love it. Let's get into what the ingredients are. So I have already recorded this video last weekend. However, I felt like I left out some pretty important information. So I decided to re-record it. However, I'm going to show you the herbs as I talk about them on the screen from my last recording, just to make things a little bit easier on me. Thanks for understanding. So the first ingredient is St. John's wort. This stuff is absolutely amazing. First, I want to talk about real quick the, uh, its antidepressant properties. It's, so it's used in pharmaceuticals to help make antidepressant medications. And I, I want to share this story with you just because I think it's really powerful. I have someone in my life that is in their 50s and they have suffered from depression since they were a young teenager and it has been debilitating for them. They would do good for a couple years and then the depression would strike and then they would pretty much lose everything they had worked for. It, got, it's, it was so bad every time that they couldn't even get out of bed for weeks. Very sad. About 10 years ago, the person had read or saw in the news something about St. John's work, working for depression. So they started taking it and they took it, so you can buy it at any drugstore or like a GNC vitamin shop and they would take the capsules. They have not had a lapse of depression since they started taking it. Wow, this is so powerful. I just want to say that it may not work for everyone because the, the, the chemistry in everyone's body is a little bit different. So how we react to drugs and, and herbs, herbal medicines as well, can differ, differ from person to person. So if it's something that interests you, maybe you're someone suffering from depression, it could be something uh, as, as an option for you. So just do a little research first. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about using St. John's wort on your skin. So St. John's wort is anti-cancerous, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, meaning if there's any microbes, bacteria, yeast, something you don't want on an open wound, the St. John's wort will clean that for you. And it is also packed with antioxidants. Great for the skin. Basically, what do all those things do? It cleans the wound, it disinfects it, and it also helps the skin regrow. So we also have another star of the show, and that is comfrey. And since we have two stars in this show, I feel like they're kind of doing a little salsa dance. Comfrey is amazing stuff as well. Comfrey has a chemical, or, or you could call it a constituent, which is basically a plant chemical called allantonin. Allantonin is found in lots of different cosmetic products, skin creams, uh, anti, or uh, not anti, <laughs> firming creams. Uh, I'm not sure about eczema creams, but mostly like cosmetic type product. Allantonin, the, the key constitu constituent here, is known for soothing, firming, and tightening the skin. It also helps reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines, and it's great for oily or sensitive skin. Comfrey is also high in antioxidants, including vitamin C, and vitamin C is great at helping the body to produce collagen. 
amongst other things. Next in line is calendula. I love calendula. I'm actually making a solar infusion of calendula that I'm going to use to make some different face products. Calendula is in the daisy family. It's a anti antiseptic, it, which means it basically cleans, cleans the wound. It's great for, um, it's an anti-inflammatory, and it's also great to help this, to soothe the skin and help the skin regenerate, to regrow. I just want to say that each of these ingredients, I could do a whole 20 minute video on, but I'm trying to summarize it for you um, to make it shorter. Next in line, and this is one of the errors I made in my last video, is lavender. So I decided to put lavender in this recipe because lavender has so many great benefits. It's soothing to, 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 the, to the mind, body. It's also soothing to the skin. So here is some beautiful lavender. This is great in kombucha too. I know that's kind of off topic. So lavender is considered a sedative. It's also anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antibacterial and I believe antiseptic. So what do all these things mean? Anti this, anti that. So all these ingredients together are going to help soothe the skin, clean the skin, make sure that infections don't happen, but it, they're also going to help the skin regrow so that the wound or whatever is happening with the skin can heal faster. To make our oil we're going to Add all of the ingredients into, I used a wide mouth ball jar. I don't have a clean one right now to show you. No, no specific order. You can even mix all the herbs up. It doesn't matter. We're going to add all the herbs and then we're going to fill up the jar with a carrier oil. <clears throat> I decided to use sweet almond oil because it's, uh, it's inexpensive. It has a lot of medicinal properties on its own. Very healing to the skin. It's not expensive and it's just a good all around carrier oil. I'm going to show you a picture of the almond oil I use. If you see that little chunk down the bottom, that is because I freeze my oils and all my supplies when I'm not using them. That will help extend the shelf life. Sweet almond oil has a pretty good shelf life of about two years. So that's another reason that I use almond oil. It lasts for a long time. Anytime you are using one of your carrier oils, I would suggest giving it a quick sniff to make sure it is still good. Once the oil goes bad or rancid, you, you'll be able to tell it'll oxidize and when you take a whiff of it, whew, you'll know. Also, I suggest that you may want to get some vitamin E, which is mixed to tocopherols. I was in the grocery store today and I saw some vitamin E, flipped it over to read the ingredients. It did have tocopherols, but it was also mixed with sunflower oil. The reason I say this is that tocopherols vitamin E will help prolong the shelf life of your oils. When you infuse oils with herbs that will kind of speed up the oxidation process as well so after you've infused your oils it might be a good idea to use some of this i ordered this one online but you can check your lo local drugstore there are th four ways to infuse oils with herbs the first two are what is are called the waiting process one of them is you add all the oils or excuse me add all the herbs fill with oil put a lid on it and then you let it sit for four to six weeks the other waiting option is a solar infusion, and this has been used for centuries. Same thing, you add all the herbs to a jar, add the oils, seal it off, and you leave it in the sun. You can leave it in a windowsill, or you can put it out in, in the sunshine, bring it in at night. Some herbalists recommend that you start this before the full moon, and then also leave it outside during the full moon, and then that way the herbs will get a full moon cycle. Two, two full moons, but a full moon cycle. So not only are you picking up the energies, the solar energies from the sun, but you're also getting the lunar energies from the moon. Third option is a crock pot infusion. So this is what I did last week. I'll show you a picture here. So I added all the herbs, then I filled my crock pot up about three fourths of the way to the jar and turned it on low. I made the mistake of first putting it on keep warm and it wasn't doing the job. So I, all the crock pots kind of have different settings. I put on my, my low cook setting for about 24 hours. The last option is using a double, double boiler. I've never seen a double boiler. I don't really know if they exist, <laughs> but I have seen a makeshift double boiler and that's where you have a, a pot. 
you fill it with water and then you place a glass dish on top and um, you turn the heat up to like a, a medium simmer so that the heat rising up will heat up the oils and the herbs and, and infuse them that way. Those are your four options. Right now I have a calendula oil infusion going that I'm doing the solar method. And then for our miracle oil though, I did the, the crock pot and then I left in the sun for a day because I had a week <laughs> that I wasn't planning on having. And then I also put it in the full moon. It was cloudy that night, so I don't know how much of the lunar energies got into the oil. However, here it is. You can't really tell a difference in what herbs or what. I think the, the St. John's wort's on the bottom. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's talk about how you use it. So the, the first option, and this would be the easiest, is to put the oil in one of the essential oil ro roller bottles. I'll show you a picture here. So it's just a little glass bottle. You can put the oil and then it rolls onto the skin. You can keep it in your purse or, you know, in your first aid kit, in your, ki in your cabinet, in your bathroom. You could also use a dropper. You can take the oil and make a salve and that's basically where your, or salve, <laughs> and that's where you are adding in a little bit of wax from either beeswax or there's another type of wax. If you're vegan, you can use, and I'll go over there, that in another video but you'd add a little bit of the wax to the oil and that will make a salve so it's more like an ointment it would have an ointment consistency you could add this into a body butter i did a previous video on a shea body butter so instead of using the oil that i use the carrier oil you could use your miracle oil which i plan on making a foot cream with this that's why i'm actually making it or you can make a lotion where you would add you have waters and oils and then you use emulsifying wax to combine them and emulsify them those are your four different options which ones do you guys want to see I'll, I'd love to make some more videos for you let me know in the comments please so to make this easier for me I'm just going to flip it like this and I'm sorry if you can't really see this see what I can do here okay there you go so I'm actually going to, well, for the sake of showing you what it looks like, let's do this. It has a greenish tint to it. Let me give it a smell. It smells like herbs. To finish straining it though, I am going to flip this over. And I'll probably let it sit for a couple hours as we have a baseball game to go to. That way I can get out all the bits of precious oil. Thank you for watching my video on Miracle Oil. Please let me know if you give it a try. It is fantastic stuff and it is definitely something you would want to keep in your medicine cabinet. I will see you in the next video where we make some other stuff with it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you enjoy this and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. If you don't want that kind of commitment right now, that's totally okay. Just make sure you come back and see me. Uh, share the video if you feel like someone that you know may enjoy it. And thanks for watching.